welcome and welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by and if you've been here before hey girl hey nice to see you again in today's video we are reviewing the very very new fresh off the press one size new foundation this is the turn up the base bbb cream beauty blur bra Ugh, the words bbb cream beauty blur balm first picked this up I'm not gonna lie when I first saw it, I wasn't sure I was like is this supposed to be like a skin tint is this supposed to be a foundation what is this supposed to be so the website says that it is a foundation this says that it is a balm a BB cream so I child I don't know what this is it's a complexion product and as you can see by my face it is absolutely stunning this foundation retails for $33 comes in 18 shades and child the taste is sitting so if you want to hear my thoughts about the product and um, see how it holds up then be sure to keep watching I did also go ahead and do kind of I guess we can call it like a spring makeup look for you guys because in my previous reviews you guys really really wanted to know the products that I was using you guys really like the eye looks y'all wanted the full tutorial so in this video I gave the girls a full tutorial okay so you're getting a foundation review and wear test plus a spring look combined so don't forget to like comment and subscribe but let's let's go ahead and get into the into the foundation babes because all right guys so let's go ahead and jump right into the review i want to go ahead and give you guys the claims of the foundation so i picked mine up in the shade dark three and it's claims to have dark rosy undertone so i think that's gonna work i don't know so this is what the foundation actually looks like I do quite like the packaging um, it reminds me kind of of L'Oreal packaging though so if you enjoy that then I think you would really really like this and I like this part of it because it has like a unique top you like push up the foundation here can you guys see and then the foundation comes out right here so I think the package is different it's nothing that I've ever seen before so that's pretty pretty cool now let's go ahead and jump into the claims child okay so according to sephora this is a revolutionary one-of-a-kind blurring beauty balm that improves the appearance of skin texture with all-day hydration and comfortable all-day wear it says that this foundation is a triple threat against texture it's a versatile three-in-one powered by skincare to blur skin texture absorb oil and boost hydration absorb oil and boost hydration okay we'll see um the buildable formula maximizes blur with a breathable undetectable finish and a second skin like finish all right okay let's see okay, so you guys know nine times out of ten if i am trying a new foundation i'm going to prime with my elf jelly pop primer it is my favorite primer. It pretty much works the exact same way your Milk Hydro Grip would, but a fraction of the cost. So I do quite enjoy it. Um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and color correct with my NARS. Guys, I have been slacking on washing my brushes, so we don't have that many options. So I'm just gonna take this e.l.f. foundation brush and just squeeze out the product. I think that's about one pump, pump's worth. So let's go ahead and swatch. So as you guys can see, the match is pretty decent. Um, the foundation does have a bit of a smell, but nothing too crazy. Now, I will say instantly, 
you do not have to wait for this foundation to dry down it is soft matte from the moment I put it on my face y'all see there's no like dry down time it's coming straight out the tube soft matte so I don't know what they was talking about a natural finish child I'm definitely seeing more of a soft matte finish I can see where they say it's medium build though because y'all saw the pump and I only put it on this lower half of my face and there could still be more coverage but I didn't put anything on the top half of my face and y'all look at the color match if you really didn't know I was wearing foundation on the lower half of my face you wouldn't be able to tell so the color is really really good so if we're foundation twins I highly recommend uh, the shade dark three I'll leave my um, my foundation shades below so you can check it out cross-reference and see if we actually need our foundation twins or if you use me as a shade reference in any kind of way so I just went ahead and I added a bit more it's definitely giving a light to medium coverage but she is mad this is crazy this is crazy okay I'm switching brushes now I'm gonna use this elf brush because I feel like I might get a little bit more payoff with that and I'm just gonna go with one more squeeze just to see how buildable this foundation really is So as you can see, I was pretty much able to build it up to a nice, solid, medium coverage. This is really nice. But I don't know. I don't know if I would recommend this for beginners because it is blending, but you got to work fast with this product. There is no dry down time. It essentially comes out the tube the way it's going to look on your face. There's no letting it sit, letting it dry down. This comes out matte which means you need to blend and work really really quickly with this all right guys so this is the foundation alone on my face initial thoughts i y'all already heard most of it but i really like it i love the color match i love the soft matte like the way my skin looks and feels it is extremely lightweight i feel it a little bit on my skin now that i've put that second layer but it doesn't feel like I have heavy amounts of makeup on. I think it's just because I put that second layer. Prior to that second layer, when I just had one pump at the bottom and one pump at the top, it did not feel like I had anything on my face. So that is really, really fantastic. Let's go ahead and finish off the rest of the face and then we will go and jump into a wear test and then I will give you guys, of course, my final thoughts. I did pick up some new makeup products so I'm gonna feature them in this video more so new to you guys because I haven't sat down and filmed like a foundation video in a couple of weeks so I am going to show you guys what I've been using you know as of late so brand new that I have never tried I actually picked up the one size uh, concealer I've been wanting to try this concealer for a while and I figured since I was getting the foundation, I might as well go ahead and get the concealer as well. I picked up the concealer in the shade um, Dark 2. So we're gonna use that to conceal today. Now, I do like the applicator of this concealer. Do you guys see it? It has like a little arrow so to, it can really get in the inner corners of your eyes, which is really nice. to be really thoughtful with what the girls needs when it comes to his uh packaging and all that stuff and then for contour i'm gonna keep that the same i'm going in with my makeup revolution foundation foundation stick in the shade f18 and i'm just going to use that to contour
So very similar to the foundation, if you are someone who likes to let your concealer sit and dry down, with this, I do not recommend you uh, go overboard with that. It's literally been on my face like real in real time, probably like two minutes, and it's already time to blend. Like if I let this sit for five minutes, I don't think this concealer would move. So keep that in mind that this foundation overall seems to be something that when it comes to your creams, your liquids, you just really need to work very, very quickly with. I don't know if you guys can tell but I am like struggling a bit just to blend out underneath my eyes with this concealer the coverage is there though the coverage is there I just don't think I should have let it sit it should have been an immediate blend for sure all right so this is the best that I could do I'm gonna actually go ahead and spray my face just so that I can get things to move a little bit cleaner and I don't want to I don't want anything looking patchy. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face. To do that, what do I wanna use? I don't want anything that's gonna change what we got going on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this Pearl Essence uh, Rose Water Face Hydrating Mist. Just to kind of dampen everything up again. And then I'm gonna take my I think this is an elf sponge and blend out that under eye area taking a bit more of that concealer I'm just going to add some kind of where I wasn't able to spread and get coverage the first time and this time we're gonna blend immediately child cuz we can't look patchy that's a no-no yeah for sure. You guys see how much better that looks? So much better. All right, feeling much more better about this concealer situation. Everything is looking pretty, pretty good and the base is looking flawless. To set, you guys, I picked up this Givenchy Prism Libre Powder. Okay. This baby right here is the absolute truth. I have been using this powder nonstop since I've picked it up. And I wanna say I picked it up maybe like three or four weeks ago. Have been absolutely obsessed. So first, I just like to press it in with a, with a not a sponge, chow, a, a, a brush. To set the face I've actually been using this uh, can't stop won't stop powder by NYX this right here I know it looks more like a bronzer shade because this is in the shade rich it's a mattifying powder but I just use a really light hand and just set the rest of the face bronzer today I am going to go in with my LYS um, no limits is that what it's called yeah no limits bronzer and I've been really loving this Sephora collection angle diffuser brush it's the number 60 brush shaped like this to bronze my face suggest it does a really good job at just diffusing the product and making sure that your bronzer or blush whatever you're applying doesn't come off too muddy this brush has really been just a lifesaver I don't know why I have been just letting it collect dust in my stash I'm going back in with my uh, YSL powder or no, Givenchy, Givenchy. This is Givenchy, right? Yeah. And 
just baking. I don't think I'm going to bake long because my face is feeling pretty matte. Um, for my brows, I'm actually taking it back old school and I'm going in with my ABH Dip Brow, the pomade. I found that when I'm doing like boy brows, this product just looks really good. So. For shadow today, I'm going to be starting in this old palette. This is a Dose of Color Desi XKD Frenchation palette. And I'm going to be taking the shade, what is this called? This middle shade, Girl Bye. This middle like pinky shade right where my thumb is. We're going to be going into that. You guys, I remember when this palette came out, I would not put it down at all. This was such a good palette but I have to use it sparingly because it was a limited edition and those are colors. I just wish they would bring it back. So, but I will say that this makes me want to get more dose of color shadows because this is the only dose of color shadow that I own and I just think they blend so well. They perform so beautifully on the eyes. Definitely a good palette. All right. Above that, just to create a bit more of a transition, I'm gonna take this single pan eyeshadow. This is an ABH eyeshadow in the shade Real Gar. It's a burnt orange shade. I don't know how this eyeshadow is gonna go because we're definitely about to play in some green today. So hopefully that looks all right. Okay, I recently picked up the Juvia's Place army rebel palette so we're gonna use this on the eye today um hmm. okay i'm gonna go in this green shade here i don't know what these are called i don't think they have names but just this one right here the more foresty green shade and i'm going to put that on the outer v And I'm more so you guys see just angling that I do not think I'm about to work this in the crease I think I'm just going to almost smoke it out and just leave it as like a diagonal angled color I don't know if I'm explaining it right but hopefully you guys can see what I mean almost like the same way that you would apply a liner for shimmer I'm gonna take this lighter green one right here and just kind of follow that same pattern but really keeping that focused on my lid oh that is super pretty This shimmer is insane. That's legit insane. I actually think Jackie Ina, I'm gonna take the Jackie Ina palette and I'm gonna take Trust Issues and put that right in the inner corner. I think that'll be a really nice combination. That's not really giving what I thought it would give, but I mean, I guess. I thought it was gonna be lighter, but I think I'm gonna know what to, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna layer it with a, like a lighter shimmer, but really use Trust Issues for the multi-dimensional properties that it has. All right, so I don't have a white shimmer, but since we said 
we're just gonna be lucky green this is from the Pat McGrath uh, extra celestial palette or celestial odyssey palette I think I'm gonna take this here and top it off and see what that gets us Hmm. Okay. It's marrying the two, so it's doing a little something. And I'm just gonna take this and, of course, hit that bottom lash line. For liner, I'm just gonna be taking my Sephora collection. This is the Colorproof Wink It Felt Tip Liner. For lashes, while I was in Sephora picking up the foundation, um, I am gonna go ahead and use the One Size Beauty Lashes. These lashes are currently on sale for $10, and I don't get it because they're gorgeous. But I went ahead and picked it up. This is in the style, what is this? Come Through. And it's a full-on lash, babes. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So for $10, I was like, mm, I'll go ahead and try it. So let's coat these. I will say these lashes look really, really good. And they feel nice. I just checked the Sephora website after trying that one on to see if I could order some more. But they're not discounted on the website. So I don't know if it was just that specific Sephora that I went to or what. But your girl's definitely about to go back and see if I can get some more um, for that $10 price. Because just look. So cute. For lips, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Cork Liner. An oldie, but a classic. Okay. And then for lips, the actual lipstick itself, I'm actually going in with some Fenty. I picked up these, the, uh, the Stunna Lip you know, her liquid lipsticks in the shade Unbutton. As long as the shade has been out, I've actually never tried it. And I saw one of my makeup mentors. Her name is Shelly. I'll have her Instagram link down below. If you're in the Chicago area and looking for a makeup artist, holla at my girl. But she did um, someone's makeup and used this as a base nude and it looks so pretty. So I went out and I bought it. So. Oh, wow, you're very pretty. Very, very pretty. Kind of feeling a gloss because the face is so matte. So I'm just gonna take a, just gonna take a clear gloss. This is the NK Lip Gel from the View Supply Store and I'm just gonna top off with that. And for blush, I am going to take my LYS Higher Standards Cream Blush and this is in the shade Empower, the rosy tone shade. And I'm gonna take that same brush that I used to apply my bronzer. I'm just gonna put that on the high points of my cheeks. Just to add some color, and honestly, this blush is so creamy so that it'll tone down how matte my face is. So, just so that we get some healthy glow going. Why not? 
Y'all, I think I'm obsessed. Okay, let's let's spray her down. Let's spray the face down. Going back in with this Pearl Essence Rose Water Mist. Just lightly spraying that. Ooh. That was a bit intense. Babe, so this is the finished look. And let me just say, I am so glad that I did end up buying the full bottle. Sorry, y'all. Just patting in some of that uh, setting spray. But yes, I am 5,000% so happy that I bought this bottle. I don't think this is going back. This is not a waste of my money. Look at my face. Just look at my face, okay? So let's talk about it. Now that I have setting spray and everything on, it's not feeling so, so matte. But my face is definitely giving soft matte. For me, I know a lot of people love the NARS Soft Matte Foundation, but for me, it did not work. And so I think that this is going to be my equivalent to the way that y'all are fanfaring over the Soft Matte Foundation. Y'all could have her. I think the one size is really where it's at. Look. Sickening. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. My face looks absolutely flawless. I'm just so happy I'm so happy it's been a long time that a foundation just took my breath away and I'm saying this after the Charlotte Tilbury review and you guys saw that review you know how much I really enjoy this foundation but this let me tell y'all Patrick is coming for the girls he's coming for the girls okay so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna do a wear test so I've been sitting here for like an hour and a half filming this video my phone done died and it's already late in the day I will say I sat down maybe around 345 ish and it's now 530 so I don't know how long of a wear test I'm be able to do but I'm definitely gonna try and go to maybe like okay if it's like 345 so it's four o'clock if I can make it to 10 o'clock, that's a six hour wear test for you guys. I think that'd be a pretty good indication as to how the foundation is gonna hold up, how it's gonna perform on your skin. Just so for reference, just so you guys know, I do have combination oily skin, very promising, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead. Um, oh, let me, let me give you guys the details and what I think about the other products, just in case you're curious. But we're gonna go ahead and start the wear test. I'll come back later there's no point in doing a midday check-in because it's already it's already five o'clock okay so i'm gonna come back around 11 and let you guys see my face but ciao i think y'all already know what the tea is you guys already know for 33 dollars head to sephora okay all right so highlight products let's talk about the eyes love them love them love them love them i think i need way more juvia's place palettes especially when it comes to colors because this sh shadow is absolutely stunning the javinci prism libre powder is more so just me displaying it to you guys on camera to let you guys know that i have been using it and i have been loving it for weeks look at my under eyes guys Okay, even with the faux pas with, you know, letting the concealer dry down, we probably shouldn't have. It looks really, really flawless, and this powder pairs well with pretty much every concealer that I've tried it with. I highly recommend. I got mine in the shade 5. If you are wanting the same type of color as me, that's what I picked up. I really enjoy that. What else did we try new today? The powder, the foundation, the concealer. The concealer, of course. Um, I like the concealer. I think you just have to know how to work with it. It is a beautiful concealer, as you can see, but you gotta work quickly. Like with this foundation in particular, any liquid products that you're laying on top of it is going to dry down fast. So I don't even necessarily know that it was this concealer per se that caused it to dry down fast. I just think the way the foundation is, anything you put on top of it, blend, 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 blend immediately. So, considering that this is the first time that I use the concealer, I do really like it. I would like to see if it performs the same with other foundations. Um, but for now, I think it's a go. The Fenty Lip is new to me. I'm sure many of you guys already own it. Period. The color, everything. And of course, it's everything we already love about her liquid lipsticks. 
but I added a gloss because I'm a little extra. Looks absolutely stunning. This shade is everything and I am embarrassed, okay, that I have waited all these years to finally pick it up. So shout out to my girl Shelly for putting me on, okay? So yes, um, and then the lashes, y'all already heard me rave about them. 10 out of 10 recommend. This is a lash, girl. A lash, and it's so lightweight. Like I feel like I keep going like this and I'm not feeling anything, you know? Lashes that tend to be this long tend to kind of weigh my eyes down, especially since I don't have any lashes. But this is a really comfortable wear. The band is comfortable. I have no complaints, so highly recommend the lashes. All right, and I think that's everything new that I brought to you guys today. Yes, yes. So that's everything new. Everything was a hit. Let's go ahead and get into the wear test. I'm gonna hop off camera, do what I need to do, and then I will come back right before I go to bed and give you guys my final thoughts. All right guys, so the time is a little bit past midnight and this is how the foundation is looking, darling, okay? I will say that it does look pretty freaking good if I do say so myself. I mean, obviously I'm experiencing a little bit of oil here and a little bit of oil here, but right here is still pretty freaking matte. And the complexion really still looks good. You know, if I wanted to go out, I could easily just blot, touch up, and keep it moving. This is definitely one of those foundations that you could wear day to night with just very minimal touch up. I'm impressed. That's all I have to say. One size, this is the one product that I've tried for them that has really just hit it right out of the water for me. The foundation looks very, very, very good. Still obsessed with the lashes as well y'all everything I tried today I absolutely love but in terms of rating this foundation I give it a hundred percent a 10 out of 10 and if this is something that I had sampled I would have been on my way to purchase it if I didn't purchase it already so I have to say guys y'all have heard me rave and rant about this foundation throughout the entire video um, let me know if you guys are going to be picking it up if you're gonna try it what you think about it let's chat down and let's chat down in the comment section and don't forget to like follow and subscribe before I go I just want to give you guys a quick update about how my um, foundation reviews are gonna be changing I'm not sure if I mentioned this previously in the video or not, so I'll just go ahead and add this clip here if you made it to the end. That means you're a real supporter, and so you probably wanna know this information. So, moving forward, your girl is really not trying to spend every single dime every time there is a new launch. Why? Because I'm very happy and content with my current makeup collection. However, I am well aware that you guys want my insight, you want my feedback, you wanna know if this is something that you should spend your money on. So I'm gonna be joining that pool with you all. This is a foundation that I really, really, really just feel like uh, I need, need, need to add this to my collection. I'm gonna be going to Sephora when things launch and getting samples and testing it out for you guys. Once I test out the sample, I will then let you know whether or not this is something that I will indeed be purchasing and feel like it's worth it to add to my collection or it's something just nice to have, but if I already have something similar to my collection, just kind of encouraging you guys and myself not to overspend, but make wise purchasing decisions. This right here is definitely a wise purchasing decision. So 10 out of 10, highly recommend. However, if I have something in my collection that either performs performs very, very similar, I will give you guys that information, or performs better than the product I'm trying, I will give you guys that information. So you can kind of compare, shop your own stash. If you already have the thing that I'm mentioning, maybe that could be a foundation that you skip out on, but if not, then maybe that would be a good purchase for you to add to your collection. So, hopefully you all are okay with that. I still want to be able to review the products. I just don't want to overconsume. So that's how we're going to do it moving forward, okay? If you all want to see more of me, I have a couple foundation reviews that I will link down in the description. Let's chat in the description. Let's chat on the community tab. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right. I will see you beautiful people in my next one. Smooches.